when you have a sip of water after a day when you have been quite thirsty because you were fasting the dua says dhahaba al-dhama'u wa abtallat al-'uruq wa thabata al-ajr insha'allah the dua when you are opening your fast at the end of the day uh, you know where we are appreciating the gift of allah for having quenched our thirst with what with water this is why the sunnah of muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam either dates or water or both to open the fast at the end of the month, uh, sorry, at the end of the day. And if we have opened the fast and we have had this water, don't you feel so good? Subhanallah, ibtallatil uruq. There is, you know, the wetness has gone down and, and the veins and all the system has now achieved that wetness of the water after a day when we kept ourselves hungry for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you appreciate the quenching of your thirst. Alhamdulillah, and you've had beautiful water. You appreciate water. Subhanallah. We're not yet talking about fruit juice. We only started with water. Imagine in Ramadan we are spoilt, where we have juices and fruit juices and fries and so many things. Some of them are actually unhealthy. Do you know that? Very unhealthy. The worst way to break your fast is with savories. Do you know that? Do you know what are savories? Samosas and pies and fries. That's the worst way to break your fast. Worst, from a health perspective. I'm not saying it's prohibited. No, no, no. You know, people are looking at me. I don't know what's the, quote, the story. I think we're all used to it. What's wrong with the sheikh? You know, my pie. I love my pies, you know. But the truth is, I'm talking of a health perspective. Go back to the sunnah. Look at the benefit of the dates, the benefit of water. Look at the benefit of these things. Subhanallah, that which is healthy, remain in, within the health. There is another big problem that we have during the month of Ramadan. Do you know what it is? At night, we do qada of what we missed in the day, sometimes, with food. I promise you, we will eat all night until we drop dead. I don't know if you've seen the cartoon. I think it is done by Abu Productive, if I'm not mistaken, but where it shows a man who's fasting during the day, and he eats so much at night that he cannot read taraweeh, and he's just like a dead person. And he's waiting for the next day. And he's enjoying it so much. In fact, the belly grew in Ramadan. People gain weight in Ramadan. May Allah protect us. Remember, it's about discipline. It's about your health. Allah has blessed you with this. From now, cut down a little bit on your food. فَإِن كَانَ لَا بُدَّ فَثُلُثٌ لِلطَّعَامِ وَثُلُثٌ لِلشَّرَابِ وَثُلُثٌ لِلنَّفَسِ You know, we eat. The Prophet ﷺ has taught us, you really want to have a nice meal, subhanAllah, you really want to eat. Well, remember, the best way of doing it is a third of solids, a third of liquids, and a third of air. When you get up from the laid tablecloth and you have now got off the, the, what we would say the tablecloth, you would still have air of one third in your system. You are not totally full, subhanallah. You are not totally full because we are not living to eat. Remember this. We are eating to live. It's a difference. And we're not saying don't enjoy food. Enjoy it, mashallah. People like tasty food and so on. People like so many different things by the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Enjoy them. Thank Allah. But within limits. Within limits meaning, I'm not saying thank Allah within limits. Thank Allah unlimited. But eat within limits. Because say for example, you like samosas. Okay? And the ones which have the mincemeat in it. Because sometimes, you know, you see a beautiful samosa, you bite into it and you just see these veggies and you say, oh no man. It should have had something better inside. You know? There was a long time when they didn't have all these veggies and health stuff inside it. But say you like the mincemeat ones and you have one and two and five and ten and twenty. What will happen to you? You get sick. Why? Because not because the samosa was bad. It was very good. The way you ate it was bad. How you chose to eat it was bad. Like red meat. People say red meat is bad. No, sometimes you need it. But the way you eat it is bad. You have a little piece, alhamdulillah. But you want to eat the whole cow? There's a problem. <laughs> There's a problem, subhanAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us. So remember, the discipline of food and drink during Ramadan should extend beyond Ramadan. You eat and drink after Ramadan also, but hang on. Remember to reach out to those who don't have. Remember to reach out to those who don't have. Even if it is with one riyal, one little dollar, remember to reach out to them wherever and however you can, even a small amount. You know, the Prophet wasallam encouraging us to do good. He says, fear the fire even if it means by a portion of the date so remember this when we eat sometimes we we are wasteful yesterday we spoke about 
the fridge that some people have started, subhanallah, putting outside their homes. Allah knows it works in some places. Perhaps it might not work in other places. You might have a different mechanism that might work even better. But at the same time, the point here is don't be wasteful. It's very tempting to be wasteful. When the food is remaining on that table after the people have finished eating, remember, do something constructive with it because there are others who do not have food, period. There are others who are, may Allah safeguard us. There are others who are busy eating that which otherwise would not be permissible. Allahu Akbar.